The amount of damage this single pick alone has done to the Pokemon community is insane. This is a tweet that got over 1,500 likes on Twitter. Well, X now. But this got me wondering. Did we ever find out the truth about why the Pokemon anime decided to change from the shonen cool art style of X and Y to the more expressive, rich and soft art style of Sun and Moon? Well, you've come to the right place, as after the years of complete chaos, anger, conflict and hate in the community, we have finally received the answer to this much anticipated question. And it comes directly from the one who made the change himself, the animator director of Sun and Moon. So let's take a look. Special thanks to Mute Monthly on X for sharing this information, which is an interview presented as follows. It feels like the animators had more freedom on Sun and Moon than the previous Pokemon series. How did you make that possible? Satoshi Nakano, the Sun and Moon director said, in the previous series, Ash had this pretty cool and tough image. Perhaps because of that, overall he felt a bit stiff. Ash is supposed to be a 10 year old and when I thought about how I was at that age, I found it was a bit out of character. The director Tomiyasu agreed and we talked about how we wanted to make him more childlike. I wanted to make the expressions rich and soft and keep the lines and shadows as simple as possible. We decided on the direction saying it would be good if we could create an atmosphere similar to that of future boy Conan. Well, that got us a mixed reception. But we were allowed to make it completely different, almost as if it was a side story and the animators liked the changes. So I invited some of my friends, lots of people came to help out and it all made me very happy. Now if we look at the response to the Satoshi Nakano interview, there's a lot of very mixed opinions to say the very least. Mezumon says, well this validates everything I thought about it already. Being cool and tough is out of character. He's the star of a monster catching anime. He shouldn't be just like you. Sandy Scales 2 says he did feel a little stiff, but the childish traits that make him fun and interesting and his cool side can coexist, as Advanced Generation and Diamond and Pearl showed. KB Clover 25 says comparing fiction to in real life, it's so dumb. Kisiti Kaito says, very nice to know that even the people working on the series thought XY Ash was stiff and boring. And Sun and Moon Ash is easily the best characterized incarnation by a country mile and makes a lot more sense. Respect for my favorite main character. And lastly, Pokey Furlax says, like, come on bro. Ash fell out of character because he didn't act like a 10 year old, despite the fact that he was always consistent and never acted like that. So the solution was to overhaul his design and personality, destroying all consistency and actually making him out of character. As we can see, there is honestly valid arguments on both sides of the Sun and Moon art style change. Because of that, let's delve into this further by exploring the reasons behind these perspectives. With the side for the change, looking at the interview, the key points as to why Nakano wanted to change the art style is because one, Ash is supposed to be a 10 year old Therefore, he found that XY was a bit out of character. 2. Because of his image in XY, he overall felt stiff to animate. And lastly, 3. Because he wanted to make Ash more childlike, to fit the ideal of what a 10 year old is supposed to be like, as comparing himself to what Ash was like at 10 years old, XY Ash is drastically unusual. Looking at everything from this perspective, the art style change makes sense. As much as we may have admired XY's art style for its cool and clean appearance, witnessing it being brought to life through animation, when it did come to those filler episodes, Ash honestly felt a bit stiff and boring to some because of the slick shonen art style. Due to this, the animators were limited when it came to what they could do with those filler episodes that were more comedy and non-action based without the quality of the show going off model every single time. Next, I think it's very obvious that this Ash looks more mature and older compared to all the other iterations of his character design, which is why it logically doesn't make sense for a 10 year old to look like a 15 to 17 year old. This further pushes the reasons as to why designs such as Sun and Moon Ash and the final series Journey's Ash look more character accurate to his age, even if they come off less cool, because think about it, what 10 year old do you know that is considered flashy and cool? And we're talking about the majority here. The very whole tone of Sun and Moon is meant to be a holiday. 
If you forgot, in episode 1, the only reason Ash came to Alola was because Mr. Mime luckily won a raffle that allowed Ash and his family to travel to Alola for holiday. Alola is the only region that Ash didn't actively choose to go to originally, he just decided to stay because he loved it so much. Every single region apart from this one, Ash has chosen to go there with the expectations to meet new Pokemon, meet new people, and have amazing battles. However, Sun and Moon differed from Ash's usual adventure reasons. As a result of that series being a warm, soft holiday tone, there was zero chance that the XY art style would have allowed for the animators to truly convey and express that happy holiday tone, which you normally expect when you go on holiday, and Ash Ketchum as well as the Pokemon anime are no different. Therefore, changing the art style allowed for Ash's character to be retconned in a way that truly fits that of a 10 year old. Which all leads us to the other side of the battle, the against side. I would say the majority of people are against the Sun and Moon art style change, not so much as the 2016 days, but there's still a good amount that wished it never happened. And here's why. As we all now know, director Nakano decided to change Ash's character design, but also personality wise, to fit that of a 10 year old. But what he may not have realized is that by doing this, Sun and Moon Ash had to downgrade from his nicely progressed 19 years of character development. Yup. I'm talking about all of the development from everything before Sun and Moon. A very common argument against XY Ash is that he didn't act like a 10 year old anymore because he was now mature so dumb moments couldn't happen. Or some even go to the extent to say XY Ash has no character at all, he's just this flashy hollow body with no depth to him. But we have to remember, even XY Ash had his dumb childlike moments. Yes, they might not have been as smoothly animated as Sun and Moon, however, we have all seen this combination of personality is possible in Advanced Generation and arguably the best series Diamond and Pearl, where multiple moments of this serious and dumb nature happen. Nakano decided that changing Ash's character to act more younger was the best decision. However, little did he know that this would change Ash's character forever, because this tuning in his maturity even bled over into Journeys, where Ash was having to be dumber because yes, he's now a 10 year old, but it was badly forced into his narrative to allow for unneeded character development, funny moments and other scenes, just so he could act like a 10 year old now, even though he's been developing as a 10 year old for 20 plus years. A good example of this is in episode 78 of Journeys, when Ash was looking for some stolen computer data. He started looking for it on the floor, which of course made for a funny comedic moment for some, because obviously he's a 10 year old, he's not going to know what computer data is. Well, that's where most would be very wrong. If we look back 12 years ago from this episode in Diamond and Pearl, we literally see Ash on a computer researching Conway's data as he's preparing for him in his next match of the Sinnoh League. Like, make it make sense. So, because XY Ash didn't act like a typical 10 year old and was quote unquote out of character, they decided to throw away most of his previous character development, growth and maturity just so he could fit the story narrative of Sun and Moon and the ideal of what a 10 year old is meant to be like. It's easy to forget, but Pokemon as a franchise is about people catching fictional monsters. So, it doesn't matter if a 10 year old acts like a teenager over time due to growth, or is now super cool to the eyes of the younger viewers, even though he's meant to be 10, because comparing real life and fictional kinda just ruins the fun of Pokemon. Most of us growing up looked up and grew close attachments to anime characters like Ash Ketchum, Jaden Yuki, Jinga, Dan Kuzo because they were so cool, not because we could relate to them as 10 year olds. It's the reason why many of us older viewers still watch the certain animes now even though they're mainly aimed at younger kids. As a result of this decision, they decided to sadly destroy Ash's character's consistency and halted his growth just to fit the current story's narrative. After gathering and comparing both sides to this argument, what do I personally think? When it comes down to it, I agree with both sides of the debate. I love XY's art style, it's more appealing to me and the style allows for battles to look absolutely fantastic. In contrast though, I love Sun and Moon's art style when it comes to general episodes because the animation is consistently great, full of life and expressive. But the overall point about Ash's personality being changed to become more childlike is something I just have to strongly disagree with. I understand why it was done but I still don't think they needed to throw most of his greatly written growth from the last 19 plus years of the anime's air before Sun and Moon to achieve what they wanted. I honestly feel they could have still kept Ash's mature personality in Sun and Moon, 
even if the art style had changed, as well as the tone of the show, as it just made Ash's character downgrade and ruin his consistency. Pokemon Journeys Ash is pretty much what it should have been like in Sun and Moon, as he still kept his personality from the last years, but still fits the bright tone of Sun and Moon. I believe both sides have made some strong points to why they believe the change should or shouldn't have happened. I would go to say everyone is right for their justifications. Credits to Pokemega for the first post. And that being said, now that you've heard my thoughts, I really want to know your opinions on the matter. Do you think Sun and Moon's art style should have changed, or do you think it was one of the Pokemon anime's biggest mistakes?